Papercut Office. Today, I'm going to show you how to batch import shared accounts into Papercut MF and NG. Like with user accounts, Papercut has the ability to batch import shared accounts using a TSV. I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a table in Excel to import into Papercut to get you all set up with shared accounts. This is the shared account screen. As you can see, I have none set up at the moment. To get a table pre-configured for importing, I'm going to click the Export to CSV button. Now that I've got the file opened up in Excel, the first thing I'm going to do is to delete all the columns after K, because everything after the Notes column just isn't used when importing back into Papercut. The next thing I'm going to do is to delete rows 1 and 3, as we just straight don't need them. This just leaves the headings for our columns so we know what each one should have. Now it's a matter of adding a row for each shared account that I want to add. I'll put my name into the first row. So administration. It's a top level account, so we can leave the second column blank as that's for second tier accounts. The account will be enabled, so we'll set that to Y. Uh, we won't give it a code, it can have a balance of 260 restricted, so if the balance gets to zero, they won't be able to do anything. Now, for the users and groups, this is where we say who has access to the accounts. We can either list individual users in the users column, or put groups in the groups column, and therefore everyone who is part of that group will have access. Since this is the administration account, the administrators will have access. For the invoice options, we only have a few options that we can put in here, one of which is always invoice. Comments, we'll put to comment optional. Um, and notes, we'll leave blank because we don't need to put any notes. Now, I could save this file as a tab delimited file and import it into Papercut to get the shared account imported, but I have more groups to add. Here is one that I have prepared earlier. Here I have 10 accounts filled in. The last thing I have to do is remove row 1 as headers can't be imported into Papercut. We just had that row there so we knew what each column was. Now the last thing we're going to do is save this out as a tab delimited file. So we go save as, from here we choose, where's it gone, text tab delimited. And we will save that. Now the last thing we need to do is simply import it back into Papercut. So from the shared account screen we go batch import update and we choose our file. click import and Papercut does its thing. There we are, all of our accounts have been brought in. What if you already have shared accounts and you just want to make some quick changes? Well, we can do the same process. We can export out our shared accounts list and open it up in Excel again delete all the columns after K, delete rows one and three. Now we can make our changes. Let's disable an account here, restrict, unrestrict one over there. And now let's make a change to our group access. I'm going to delete administrators from the groups column and just make sure that this is set to just be text so it doesn't interpret what I'm about to do incorrectly. Now, if I go plus staff, staff is another group that I have set up in Papercut. By, pay, by saying plus staff, that will tell Papercut to add it to the existing list of groups that have access to the account. I could have done minus administrators and it would have removed from administrators from the list. But in theory, Doing this will add staff to the list along with the administrators group. Again, we will save this as a text tab delimited, um, sorry, tab delimited, and we'll just call it updated accounts. I can save and 
place, that is fine. Finally, we will go back into Papercut and import our updated file. Ah, that error is because I made a rookie mistake of not deleting row one, which is the headers, which we do not want in Papercut. As you can see, it breaks the whole thing. We'll try this one more time. Import, whoops, Did that work? Here we are, three accounts updated. We made three changes, so that does make sense. We have a disabled account, we have an unrestricted account, and we have two groups that have access to this account. Now you know how to quickly import and update shared accounts in Papercut MF and NG. For more information, check out the manual page on this topic. The link for that is in the description below. Thanks for watching.